flavored sprinkle sprackles. <laughs> They crickle crackle so loud. <laughs> Looking back at the genealogical records, it no. was Oakweave prior to 1822. Jesus. We have to visit the cemetery just to make mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. Reasons, right? Wait, hold on. There's ivy growing on this tombstone. <laughs> Queef. Uh, Today on This American Dice, we present the third episode of South Milton, Massachusetts. It's time for the second sacrifice. And can Milton, Massachusetts' own crazy fish cult manage to kill not just one, but two innocent people at high noon in the middle of a crowded space? Or will they be discovered? Find out how it goes here on This American Dice. I'm Austin, and I'll be playing Old Gus, the janitor. And and I'm also the leader of the cult. All right. Uh, I'm Brandon, and I'll be playing uh, Richard Shaw. Oh, and actually, what, what are your clarities, too? What, what's old Gus's clarity? Old, old Gus, clarity? the leader of the... Austin's character, the leader <laughs> of the cult, has one clarity. Mm-hmm. I'm already at two. Mm. Okay. Um, my name is Marisa, and I am Patricia Miller. I <laughs> have three clarities, and I am the uh, keeper of the tome. Mm. Um, I'm Eduardo, and I'm playing Douglas Thompson, and he has a job that we didn't know about. Clarity, too. Um, my clarity is two. And then he is the keeper of the blade. Before we get started officially, if we want to go around the table and add, like, a different, like, a new location. Okay. And actually on the sheet, um... They have suggestions for different locations that would be in a small town. So they include for the 1950s, telephone switchboard, soda fountain, drive-in theater, garage, diner, housing development, biker bar. Yeah, and then there's some for the, just in general too, for small towns. Yeah, farm, bridge, bluff, general store, cemetery, doctors, butchery, green grocers, and stables. Yeah, stables is interesting, but uh, yeah, you can go ahead and add, we'll go around and you can add one of those that may or may not come up, mm. just so we have more to Places, flesh that out a little right, bit. Yeah. Yeah. So I came up with Sullivan's Farm, by the way. So oh, I feel nice. like there's like a massive farm, like on the edge of town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That and that their farm goes awesome. like, extends for vast amounts of things. Like if one of us had been like, I'm the wealthy la- farmer, like that yeah. would have been their thing. Nice. All right, I added Kelly's Cemetery. Ooh. Because they're like the oldest family, you know, mm-hmm. so they have a Jesus. Jesus. cemetery. And it's going to be like, it's outside of town a little bit. Ever I mean, since like, the, on the other side. Ever since the last of the Miltons died off in the nervous <laughs> hospital. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, geez. Um, oh, yeah, they should, I was going to also say those, I think we still have like two circles of mm-hmm. important places that we haven't filled in. Mm-hmm. If you feel that whatever you're adding is important enough to be in there, go for it. Mm. Mm. Um, I'm going to clarify the big street is going to be called <gasps> Main Street. Um, <laughs> Main Street, USA. Um, but I'm going to add a barbershop oh. right here. Barbershop. Like um, but I don't have a name for it yet. So if anybody thinks of anything clever for the barbershop, mm. um, there you go. It's right here. It, it's on this strip. I don't know what this strip is called. On Main Street! <laughs> Here, touch all of this. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I must. I didn't, I didn't want your pencil right. Not okay. anymore! Burn it! <laughs> it's your pencil forever now. <laughs> He's gonna end up with all of them back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I gave you the broken one. Perfect technique. Cool. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna make a. A uh, diner, but I have to come up with a good name for it. Uh, Pat's something diner. Ooh, Pat's pancake diner. Oh Perfect. yeah, <laughs> Pat's pancakes. Oh, and you're Pat. <laughs> well, I'm Bob Patricia. And oh yeah, but, but you're like you know. Bob and Pat. I remember I listened back to the thing. And you're yeah, like, <laughs> and it would cost Bob and Pat. Bob and Pat. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Glad you remember. I. I love when women are named Beverly and they go by Bev. Bev. <laughs> That's always yeah. like a very funny, like, Bev! Are going to get into the fetish talk again? Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah, yeah, call that's me the Bev. the only thing I like. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh, it's on the other side of the street. Mm-hmm. Closer it's to the city hall. I love that. That makes sense. We're it's the old dynamic. abandoned barber shop oh, on the other know. side of town <laughs> when no one's around. <laughs> 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 
like um, the barber on Maine. Like it's oh, just like right. just, like plain, plain, plain. But it's the spelled barber. Maine. Yeah. Like lion oh, Maine. Oh, Maine. Oh, I was thinking Maine like the state, mm. and it's like lobsters cutting hair. <laughs> That's pretty good time. <laughs> oh yeah, and w- one other question I wanted to listen. So I listened to the recording last night to refresh my memory. But one thing I wanted to ask is, uh, Mayor Richard, when is yeah. um, the election? It's a weird, like, normally I don't call mayor and then their first name. It's really weird, but sure. Uh, Your Mayor Pete situation over here. <laughs> yeah, what's happening? Uh, I don't know. What, like, what fucking time of year is it even anyway? Um, so far we know it is uh, Friday. <laughs> oh, 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 right. it is, year is it yeah. Right? yeah, whenever Elections you want. are normally in, in November. Right? Yeah, yeah November. it seems like it's coming up soon, but is it like this week or is it... I don't know. I think it's in like a month or so. A month, month and a half maybe. Okay. So outside the parameters of this game. That's mostly what I want to know. But like right, like coming very up very soon. soon. Yeah, I mean and a month is like not much. And for it's a... October. We got Halloween coming up, and things yeah. are getting real spooky. It's getting real spooky. Oh, yeah. Maybe really? it's maybe it's just like the thirtieth, right? That's now. Maybe, maybe, maybe Halloween's oh. tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Soth is like you can crush it on my torch. That's right. right. <laughs> I can feel it. <coughs> the tension. Mm-hmm. Love it. All right. It's the section. So, <laughs> Soth and Sam Hain getting it down. Yeah. So. uh to bring us back to the last time, I think it was we we're gonna. It's the fireworks show you're setting up. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got uh, Fire Chief O'Keefe. O'Keefe. So yeah, you were um, you set up with him. I think he was getting some. I guess he was overseeing it and getting some maintenance workers. Or uh, your campaign manager, mm-hmm. Dorothy, was setting that up. Dorothy was getting the um, like fireworks people there. Yeah. After she, after you were distracting her in the the old printing press in mm-hmm. the basement of the library. Yeah. But this building is crazy. Can I just? Oh yeah. But yeah, I think the next ritual had to happen within like a minute or two of noon. Twelve oh one. Yeah, and the I, I think the idea was to snatch one of these fireworkers, two of them, and just blow them the fuck. Yeah, so the the two the two fireworks guys were just gonna explode mm-hmm. them. We were gonna like stab them and then like put them on top. Yeah. Of the Boom. Yeah. But the fireworks are going off tonight, right? Fireworks no, are supposed accident. to go off tonight, but this yeah. is an accident. Oopsie. I- it's like 11.58. Oh, jeez. So who, who's at the site? Who's going to do the deed? Is it all of you? Or? Well, well I, mean, I am going to go secure the area. Douglas has the ceremony of way that has to kill these people. With. I know. I'm just here to stab. But... <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh, are you on lunch to go? I'm speaking to. Um, yeah, I think I think old Gus. Gus can be old Gus can be on lunch, and uh, I think his part of the thing is he's gonna be like picking up or cleaning up oh, stuff yeah, clean in up such a real. way because like uh, while they're setting things up, like old Gus is like helping to like put up little like ropes of this area is roped off mm-hmm. like little menial shit. That um, that way, these guys can more quickly do their thing, and I think Old Gus is the one responsible for the. Sabotaging. He's going to be the one to do the accident that gets rid of these right. bodies. Mm-hmm. That's good. And, and this is at Milton Park, right? Yeah. 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 Good. Like, I was right going to ask that. City Hall. So yeah. yeah. So I think that's a, that's our at least you two. The at least those two. Yeah. yeah like that. Serious, what about you two? Right? I think we're like. What's up to you? Definitely, I definitely think uh, Richard is. Like still like setting up campaign stuff because he's supposed to be putting on a, like a thing tonight. So you're with fireworks and everything. You're with, everything. So you're with, with uh, Dorothy, Dorothy or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dorothy Thompson, your aunt. I know. Oh shit! I forgot. Yep. <coughs> <coughs> Which I have not had to speak, speak to this whole time. Nice. So, I think old Gus is also stint, stint, keeping himself close enough by so that way if Douglas runs into any trouble, old Gus can do his best to help out. Or just be like an extra set of eyes or ears to watch out for stabby hands. You know, look dangerous. Up. Yeah. Oh, and also I want to remind you, you had um, Archie Smythe, the library clerk, mm-hmm. looking up like uh, old oh, election, yeah, like election laws, laws to see if... Can the sheriff also yeah. be the mayor? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's been doing that for a segment of time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. About two and a half hours. It's going to take him a while. He is illiterate. <laughs> it's really an issue. You made that same joke last time? <laughs> I, I feel like he's going to sh- I oh, hello. Like yeah, everyone thought he was very, very intelligent. Because <laughs> of the accent. It's a real Cumberbatch situation. <laughs> Jeez. 
All right, so I think I'm going to mess with you. I think there's a... Um, so, the, is, would the chief be there? Sure, why not? The chief is there. The chief... And, yeah, the fire chief. That's the right. Fire it's chief. a sheriff who does the yeah. police stuff around. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. Good, good point. Um, so, fire chief O'Keefe <laughs> <laughs> is is there. Maybe there's like another firefighter too. And say there's. Would they hire you to do this? Is that kind of your situation? Or are you there unofficially? Um, Cause you're, I mean, it's part I of you're like the Yeah, I think order. it's just kind of like. He's a municipal. We're such a tiny ass town. I mean, yeah, like, I think he kind of just got like a like a gopher. <coughs> he also. He, I think this isn't an uncommon thing. Of there is some kind of public function that's going on. And Gus is that he should go do it. Yeah, you said you were the, kind of the janitor for hire. So maybe they asked you, and you're like, oh, either ignored it or can't. I'm busy. Because that'd be something you, they would ask you, right? To what? to like help lug fireworks and stuff. Oh, I'm, I'm specifically yeah, I'm doing this. Okay, good. That's what right. he's doing. Gotcha. Yeah. Perfect. So maybe there's you and like uh, the chief, another firefighter, mm-hmm. maybe like one other guy, like as a maintenance person, or sure. would there be more? I don't know. I've never set up fireworks. Yeah, probably like one or two fireworks. Guys so was is this like a company, or is this like a like Perry and Sons fireworks and festivities? I feel to to hammer home the small town thing. It's just oh. someone that, like Chief Oki. Oh, God damn it. The chief's uh, <laughs> the fire chief, the chief's like neighbor's great, guys. teenage yeah. son or something. Okay, so this oh, is Jesus. just like folks who work at the city hall, and somebody's ki- yeah. like, are just like, yeah, we'll just set up a bunch of stuff and light it off. Like, it's like, hey, kid, you want a quarter? Yeah, yeah, I absolutely missed it. All right, get your small hands in here. Oh, oh so God, tiny. no, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's not how oh, fingers God. work at all. Yeah, no. Oh. oh, Donovan O'Keefe. Yeah, Chief Donovan. You can just uh, call him the fire chief. You can, it's, That's it's another possible. Awesome. <laughs> what's um, what's your assistant's name again? I can't remember. Dorothy. Uh, Dorothy. That is Dorothy. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So right. then I'm not downstairs anymore. She's no. upstairs with you. I mean, you could probably just be in like the park. I've been like. Yeah, I just I feel like I don't want people to become suspicious of us. <coughs> to, like be somewhere else, you know, like do be doing something yeah. completely different, so that it's like we don't look like we're actually working together. Cool. I'm gonna that say, makes sense. Little Jack is helping out. He's the teenager. So little Jack O'Keefe. Little Jack O'Keefe. No, he's uh, the neighbor. Gotcha. And then the firefighter will be. Who, who's Jack's parents in our disgusting tree of people we're gonna kill? Horner. Oh, is he related to someone? I don't know. He doesn't, doesn't have to be. be. Doesn't need to be. We got the Thompsons. We got. Uh... We got the Walshes. Barbara Walsh. Oh, Barb. Mm-hmm. But she's busy. Oh, let's let's do Smythe. Easy. Smythe. Jack Smythe. Uh, so he's maybe related to Archie? Yeah. Oh, great. Mm-hmm. Archie's what? Nephew? Mm-hmm. I don't know what it says on these here fireworks. Ouch. And... <laughs> oh, boy. There's a, there's a picture of a skull and crossbones. I think these are only for pirates. <laughs> what is dynamite stick? <laughs> <laughs> and the other firefighter is... What's a good first name? Um, all right. Lawrence. Oh, Sludge. Butch. Oh, I butch. was thinking, what's a real butch name? And I was gonna Ooh. say Lance. Oh, <laughs> All right, uh, Butch Harris is the firefighter. <laughs> butch Lance Strong. He has a career. He has a career ahead of him. Certain grown folks movies. Okay, so I think um, Jack um, might be uh, the the kid. Mm-hmm. We'll say he's like eighteen. So he's like, I don't have a job yet, mm. but I'm. Oh, maybe he's like doing the same kind of thing that you are, but just mm-hmm. as a kid. So they're like, "No, we're gonna hire the vet." But he's like, "I'm mowing lawns. I'm doing this." Gotcha. Matt. And I think he is kind of the the counterpoint to all these greasers. He's like, "Oh no, I'm, I'm very. I got straight A's." Although, what's he doing with? But, he's blowing shit up. That's yeah. what he's doing with he's it. Yeah, good point. He went to chem class and was like, "I passed. I know how things go." Boom. Mm, yeah, good point. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, chemistry was his favorite thing. He's like, "Oh, maybe he's the one who was like, oh, chief, I can help you out." There's going to be fireworks? This is great. So he's did, real into this. So did he make the fireworks? Or did he just go like... I went. Two oh, t- I drove two towns over and I don't know uh, all night to buy oh, these fireworks. Sure. He definitely made them himself. Okay. Oh, Which God. could be a problem. Mm-hmm. Oh no. This is Jack. just an empty shoebox that says firework. <laughs> Not even S. And, and it's spelled F-Y. Jeez. <laughs> Capital R. No, it's like old-timey. It's like pyrework. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, jeez. Well, about to be. 
You can, <laughs> you can, you can only <laughs> yeah. You can only read Middle English. Yeah. <laughs> what a gift. All right, so we got old Gus. Old Gus. We got uh, <coughs> um, Douglas. Douglas doing kind of the security here, right? Mm-hmm. We're just kind of observing, or is that like official capacity? Um, I'm so, like I'm checking the safety of who um, the. I almost said the audience. The... You're saying like barricades and shit. Right. I'm like mm-hmm. looking at that. But I have to check with Jack to make sure he's the far away distance. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'll like go back and forth and be like, Jack, how's it going? Ten more feet that way, Jack. And like <laughs> get pushing him gotcha. back. So I think the Why chief. Why are you near the bushes? Like, mm, I don't know. We love bushes here. So I think the chief is kind of shoulder to shoulder with you doing that same kind of thing. Like, yeah, absolutely. What well, he's doing. Abs- yeah, be careful. Mm-hmm. Those are dangerous. But he's almost doing nothing. And I feel this is like, even though he's a firefighter, he's the chief, so he's got like this huge gut. He's like, oh, I love that. It's like, you have not fought a fire in so long. And also, it's the smallest town, so it's like, mm-hmm. have you ever fought a fire? Yeah. Fire? He's got one of those pumps. Just like, mm-hmm. drink yeah, it. Exactly. To get the fire hydrant. Do they even have fire hydrants? They do, right? Yeah. 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 I said with very little confidence. No, dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Trisha, were you, did you say you were going to observe this too? Or were you staying in the library? I know, I want to be, I want to be watching. But oh, I don't, like yeah, I think, from the I feel like, yes, I'm going to watch you guys. <coughs> because I don't want, again, people to like be suspicious oh. of us. So. Oh wait, but the library's in the basement, right? So right, no, I'm, I'm not in the library watching, I'm just in the building. It's the a big municipal. building. In the mm. municipal building holding all my papers that I made at the printing press. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm oh, just, yeah, you have all you know, those flyers, right? Maybe I'll just be like, oh, what am I going to do with these flyers? Um, <laughs> That's right. Maybe I'll just post them around. <laughs> or just a wall. <laughs> <laughs> just be posting them around the, the, what is the main building? Is like the is that the police op- uh, station on the first floor? Yeah, we said that. Okay. So, the offices are above. Right. So That's then maybe right. I'll just be like in the police station, just like being kind of... Like, why is this old lady here? But, like, nobody's going to tell her to leave, you know? And I'll just be, like, looking out the window, posting one. I'll post one, like, around every window. Just one. Oh, my God. Just one. <laughs> just one. Set the scene. Let's get let's get into the violence. Mm-hmm. Mm. What's going on? So, I think old Gus is uh, assuming that um, uh, this, this kid, Jack. Mm-hmm. This kid, Jack, is definitely one of the victims. Mm-hmm. And we have to have one of the sacrifices. They're not victims. What what they're going through is an important step. Mm-hmm. What they're mm-hmm. going through, giving their lives in a sense, in a way they'll be remembered as heroes. Um, but yeah, so Jack is definitely one of these sacrifices. Um, so you're working with Jack and Butch. Butch is the firefighter. The other fireman. Okay, but not that's the like chief. helping. That's like helping him out. Okay, like and um, contrasting to the chief, he is like. Oh, this is a fireman. Gotcha. Man, he's a fireman. Mm-hmm. Like he's, you know, he keeps bodybuilder. He keeps appearing on calendars. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh-huh. And when, in fact, whenever any of us look at a calendar, he is on it. <laughs> yeah. um, he carried Jack here, but yeah. Jack's like, no, stop! I can walk on my own. I have like, legs. You only, you only wear, you only weigh three hoses. Oh my god! I also have a firefighter measurements. <laughs> um... <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, so I think what old Gus is looking for is he's just trying to find a good... Okay, if the plan had been, if we had possibly discussed that um, this needs to be done with this sacred blade, uh, which makes this a little more difficult, but I think in that case, um, he might try to go actually relieve Deputy Douglas of talking to... Fire the chief. fire chief. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to basically be like, goofies, goofies. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. And just no. kind of, basically just kind of like be able to get this guy away from him so that the people right near the fireworks, like closer to over there, and he's going to try to come up with some uh, nonsense that like, so-and-so had said, uh, Chief Chief O'Keefe, that they needed you over at the uh, blah, blah, blah. Kind of a deal. Like, get this guy out of here. Like, one oh, of your witnesses, the chief. The fire chief. Oh, okay, gotcha. <coughs> 
I have a, a quick question though because I thought that the we're not doing the knife until the next ritual. I thought the blade, we, we, need the just blood. Need the blood. we just need the blood for this one. Yeah, because mm-hmm. yeah. I think the third ritual you have to use a knife that's consecrated with right all with the, the other blood. people. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm just, yeah. so sorry. yeah, actually, does it say you have to kill them with the knife? No. Yeah, we just have to have okay. their blood. We just need their their blood. So, yeah. and I think the fireworks explosion is just is for the sound purpose yes. and to get rid of these bodies or at least mm-hmm. cover it yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Actually, yeah, refresh us. What what are the the requirements for this so one? So the requirements are the minute of noon, twenty four hours later, two human sacrifices in a place where public uh, gather regularly, and a noise capable of deafening nearby listeners. Yeah. That's what, that's what we're looking for here. Like and then of course are. after that we do need the blood. So cool. We so check those blood. when. Um, Remind me, I keep calling myself Douglas. Your Gus. Yes. Gus. Different S at the end. Um, so Gus gives me the fish, fish hand signal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I definitely, when he comes to start talking to Chief O'Keefe, I've been going back and forth on purpose. Mm-hmm. Ten more feet. Like, just walking back and forth. So I, I take that as a signal to go. So I'm going to go towards the fireworks, towards the setup. Um, and I'm going to like observe, oh, how do you do this? And I'm actually going to be actively asking what takes, because, um, what's his name? Jack knows how this works, but the rest of us don't. Those are his homemade fireworks. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure that I understand the safety of it. Now we're carrying boxes. That's what, um, Butch is doing, right? Mm -hmm. He's moving stuff back and forth. The second that he moves around, I want to stand behind, put my arm on his shoulder and be like, can you explain to the, this to me one more time, Jack? And like that way, his focus is there. And I'm gonna slowly pull out the pocket knife. Mm-hmm. And oh yeah, and I think and Jack has like the most giant '50s glasses you can imagine. Yeah. Just like push them up. He's like, oh well, yeah, it's very interesting. It's like sodium nitrate does, and then you put the um, I don't chemical terms, chemical term, chem- chemical term. So while he's like pointing stuff out, I'm gonna be like. I'm gonna make. I know it's stupid, but I'm gonna go. Is that is that a bee nest over there? Hornets? And I'm gonna like point in the direction, like near the fireworks. And when he looks, which he I should, assume you're like to get this situation. I'm like, like standing right in front of the, I'm, the fireworks, I'm, right? Yeah, 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 definitely. And I've got like my hand on his shoulder. I'm just gonna point it out so he looks in that opposite direction. So it's like past the fireworks, next to the fireworks, near the fireworks. Is that would that be dangerous? Is he looking in that direction? Oh, for sure. Oh, then I'm gonna. He's like, there's not even trees here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking Perfect. about? <laughs> um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna click out the pocket knife real quick. I know it makes the sound, and I'm gonna just jab him just a little bit. Whoop. Oh my god, there's bees! And push him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nice. Push him. So this is gonna go so bad so quick. So you got some rules for murder, right? Yeah. I'm not trying to kill him. Just getting blood. Hmm. I just want to nick him. No need to murder these guys. They're gonna explode. I just need the blood to be on the knife. Oh, so you're not murdering him yet? I'm not. This is interesting. This is the best ever. Yeah, Mm -hmm. that's. I feel that's gonna be way harder. (laughs) I know. (laughs) Well, let let, let me. We should have set these things up to explode first, guys. Let me Uh, let me tell you a little about the the murder rules, just in case you want to change that. That's exciting. So. If it's someone that's an investigator, which I have secret investigators, then it's a whole different thing. But um, any other supporting character, the murder succeeds. If it's another cultist, then it's a whole different thing. But any supporting character that's not an investigator, you just can automatically murder them as long as it's you have a weapon and you're you would you know logically be able to murder them. So if you want, you can just murder him. There won't be any consequences except for everyone watching. But that's the deal: is that is anyone watching? I would, For sure. I would make note. Yeah, I would make note of that before well, I would. So yeah, I guess the the question is, Who's are you throwing it? his dead body on there, or are you throwing him live on there? Because that's up to you. I was just gonna prick him. I need the blood. I don't. I don't need to blow him up right now. Plus, Butch needs to be on this knife too, and I have not had the opportunity to get him on there. And I have a plan of distraction. I'm already like mm-hmm. working on. Mm-hmm. So should we go to that then? Yeah. Well. I don't know. Do we want to get Butch before we... Because I, I just want to distract everybody in the police station from running outside when all of this chaos is happening outside. So I have a separate plan. So I don't know if we need to get Butch first and then... That's what happens when you have a real plan and it takes time 
instead of just stab a boy and throw him <laughs> on the bounce. I mean, it's like eleven fifty-eight. We don't have that much time. Yeah, yeah. That's why. That's why yeah. I, I <coughs> am purposely just nicking him and pushing him. Mm. You I don't even have to like to really explode. Nothing's you don't lit. Have to like really stab him that much, right? You can just like, oh shit, I just like just barely on. like barely yeah. nick him, and then he's like, oh ow, and you're like, oh shit, I'm sorry. Did something yeah. in my pocket get you? Mm. Okay, it's so, like Wicker Man, but no basket on his head. Mm. Yeah. Bees, bees. <laughs> so okay, here, here's a. Let me frame this differently. So, Douglas may or may not care, but Eduardo, do you want him to be dead now, or should he be live struggling on the things? Which do you I think, think is better? he should be alive struggling so I can get Butch to help me. Mm. Butch, I need your help over here. I have a teenage boy. Oh, it's some explosives! <laughs> Fireman safety? Mm-hmm. Come help me, please. Okay, sure. So, I think that happens. You kind of push him on this thing. Mm-hmm. Um, Butch, next to you, maybe had this box of probably very volatile things he just drops them oh cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah. like you do because mm-hmm. he's a fireman yeah, and he's like, um what's a good 50s alternative for fuck oh like, no. oh fiddle sticks <laughs> oh jeez yeah. jeepers uh, yeah jeepers there you go jeepers there you go okay. um i think uh jack over here is just like screaming like ow oh my god and just like yeah Profusely bleeding. <laughs> so that was a hornet stab. stab that I, <laughs> yeah, I know. My spleen's out. I was thinking the same thing. Like that's not really a nick. That's definitely like yeah, a stab. I, my plan was to prick him, but maybe I, he just tripped. I'm not gonna fight you on this. Okay. Um, but now, now he's yeah. all jumbled up in boxes and, and you know wires and whatever he was gonna use to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Bush kind of comes over here. Um, and you said the chief should have left before this. Yeah, old Gus is trying to get the chief away by telling him, like, oh, somebody back in City Hall said that they had wanted to talk to you. That totally would have worked if Jack didn't start screaming. Because now the chief is like, "What? what's going on back there? And maybe you're leading him away, and then he mm-hmm. turns back around like, oh, oh, good gosh. Or no, he's, he was a big fat guy. Like, yeah. oh, what? What's all this then? Like, and I think... Can you see Butch and Douglas over here kind of... Like over this guy standing sh- over the body, just like struggling. Yeah, and I think he'll he'll try to just kind of uh, kind of like shoo this guy away and say like I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure D- Douglas. Ah, no, no, no. I'm sure Douglas has. Sure that Douglas has that. Uh, no, no problem at all. They they said they needed you up in. They said they needed you up in City Hall. This is. I feel like this is where I want to do my distraction. Okay. I mean, you're seeing it all go down. Yeah. You're specifically I'm watching. watching. Yeah, I'm very, I'm watching it. I see what you're saying. And so uh, my distraction was, since I have like all those papers and stuff. Oh my God. I wanted to, my idea was to like throw them all over the police station or, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> on, like oh, I tripped and fell. But now I kind of want to be like running out of the actual police station, which is like downstairs and you're like leading the chief this way and then I just I see everything so I just throw all the papers everywhere oh. and then he just gets distracted like what is all this happening and and maybe I accidentally stumble a little bit and I'm like oh no I fell yeah. <laughs> life alert happens my ankle <laughs> my ankle and I like throw the papers everywhere <laughs> and I, I'm like you know like hunched over on the stairs going down you know and like to, totally just want to distract you know, the chief from what's happening. Yeah, and I think uh, Barb, the the secretary, is like, oh, no, like the one with the big beehive we yes. said before. Like, oh, oh, no, dear. C- deary. Like, oh, no. Like, Let me help you. Oh, my God. You have so many flyers. What's even... You, you really plastered that window, but you need, didn't need to plaster the floor, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think she you can't starts, see out of the windows anymore. Yeah, and I think, yeah that's right. Just, just like you said, uh, she start like the two of you are kind of helping, and then... Um, what Sheriff uh, Brown comes out and he's like, oh, oh no, what's going on here? And Barb's like, help us with all these flyers. Look at all this stuff. So you're, I think that's adequately distracting him at least. Mm-hmm. The chief or yeah, the, the sheriff? Yeah, outside, like just like literally on the front of the stairs. You know what I mean? Oh, I thought you were in the police station. I am, but I'm she running. Out. I, I like she, literally I'm walking, running out. Leaving. She said that. I'm uh, okay, leaving. sorry, I misunderstood. Yeah. So that I okay. could get like. So you're not in the police station. If he's trying to get the chief to go look the towards fire chief, right? the fire chief to right, look right. towards I the station, okay, sure. Then I'm going to be doing something thing. over here to distract them over there. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So maybe Gus can uh, when he sees um, Pat do that. Uh, he can say just like, like, oh, I'll help. 
No, uh, oh, I'll say, uh, I, I keep foghorn leghorn in this. <laughs> take um, a drink. <laughs> the, um, we take a drink every time Austin criticizes <coughs> his voices he's doing. It's, it oh, happens geez, all the time. I'll, I'll go back and help those boys over there. See if I can see if I can get a, uh, get that good. Why don't you help that young young lady? Make sure she's not hurt. I mean, uh, a professional like you, you'll know. I'm, I'm, and I kind of been like uh, almost kind of guiding him that way as I'm kind of like like going off as quick as I can back towards where uh, Douglas and Butch, uh, Jack. Butch and Jack are. All right, yeah, I'm gonna go easy on you. And even though this. 18 year old is bleeding behind him. He's like, Yeah, I should help these girls with the papers. Well, her ankle's leave. broken. <laughs> Come is on. It, is it broken, Charles? That's what she's screaming. That's what she's screaming. My papers. That's what she's screaming, all right? Oh, okay. No! Okay. okay. Yeah, actually, that's, that's a good way to spin it. <clears throat> that's a good way to spin it. He'll. Um, since he's I like, need help. Yeah, just like, Oh, this boy is bleeding, but it's like, Oh, a lady's in danger. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm a firefighter. I'll help her. I'll be heroic. Also, he like Douglas is helping. He, me. <laughs> Pokemon like turns his fire cap. I feel like if, you know that he would know that there's Butch is already there, so Butch can handle it. Butch and, and Douglas are there. Help like, the come. You got you know, me. Calm down the ladies. Yeah. I'm crying. I'm over here like. Bleh! You're convincing me of something I'm already convinced. You're good. So. <laughs> Hold on, we're going to explain to you why you believe this for another yeah. 25 minutes. <laughs> okay. Open those ears, chum. Yeah, so you got it. Um, so I guess Barb and um, the sheriff aren't helping you, but they, who knows what they're doing. But Who knows? They're, they're, they're a fair. I mean, they could be just watching, you know. Guys, when I said that, I knew what they were doing. <laughs> you don't uh, have to give me suggestions. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, got it. They're watching wink, you wink. murder right. somebody is what they're doing. Wink. So let's, let's go back over here to the deputy. So you've got a bleeding... Uh, teen, yeah. bleeding young adult, I should say. Um, yeah. And Butch is over here, <coughs> probably like helping him up. He's like, "What the hell happened? What are you doing?" He's like, "I don't know. I think it was a bee." <laughs> exactly. And he's and like, <coughs> "That ain't no bee, kid." What? The, I swear I saw, and I'm gonna. I, I and I think now it. is like, if this is the movie, like the little watches in the the corner, mm. and it just goes to midnight. Oh, off. Or there's, there's, I should there's say, a sorry. clock tower at, that is part of City Hall, and you see it click <laughs> into place. Dung, Thank you. Absolutely. The dongs start happening. Place. Yeah. Um, yes. It, oh God, of course. It, it starts ringing. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. While he's been, like helping Jack up, I know he can pick him. Pick him up. I saw him carry him earlier. <laughs> so I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take this opportunity to um, prick him like in the calf instead of like the shoulder so i'm gonna i'm gonna bend down oh let me help oh i stumbled too snick <laughs> and again that's fine and i am pointing out if you're not an investigator which is the first time he's been introduced mm-hmm. you can't just automatically kill him if you want <laughs> i think that um okay so i think that old gus kind of comes back over here nice. sure, and yeah. once he once he, he sees me. yeah once he sees that this has gone on um he Oh, can I throw out like a crazy? Can I throw out a crazy thing of just how old Gus will try to kill one of these people? Yeah, if you want. I love so it. he um uh, he has he pocketed some of the fireworks he helped them move earlier, so they're just like firecrackers. Yeah, so he oh lights God. some of the firecrackers to create an extra distraction. So while the the bell is ringing, you also hear like, psh, 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 psh. and then literally one of these guys he just shoots him. He just pulls out like an old service revolver <laughs> and just shoots one of these guys wow. so that there's just fireworks going off. And also there's just another pop noise that no one will recognize as anything different. So it, for me, it coincides. They're like, it, it's at the same time because I'm bent down like snicking him and I hear like, explosion. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, so this guy just like, flops oh. down. Which one do you shoot? Because we um, were helping up Jack. He was there. I got down. Probably, yeah, probably Butch. Shoot him where gonna, just in the back of the just head. Just below his head clean. Like, oh, fucking I think he just, in the back. Yeah. yeah, he just shoots him in the back. Yeah, I feel he's like bending down to help this guy up. Yeah. So you can, yeah. you've got plenty of So he just, he just sh- his game, old Gus's game plan is shoot, Just execute the foul or? Yeah, kind of just almost like like mob hit, like like just walk up to the guy and shoot him. So he <laughs> like lights these things and once they start popping, then he just shoots this guy because like theoretically no one will, at least the sound of this won't be differentiated between fireworks and this gunshot, very likely, mm-hmm. uh, old Gus thinks. And then um, his game plan is just grab um, some kind of like fuel or something like that, throw it on some of these fireworks, and then okay. he's gonna... I mean, we've been paying attention. Yeah. We've been talking to Jack 
we asked him about, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. how this Split. shit works. He's currently on boxes. Yeah. So, um, if I just stabbed, I got the blood, I'm gonna, like, shove the body mm -hmm. onto Jack. That's a big, that's a big, that's a big man. <coughs> right? He's already falling. Oh! And I'm a, does Jack see me? Um. Or is he dealing with a giant fireman body on top of it? Well, he's probably dealing... I think he said, "Of all the fire, of all the bodies so, on top of me, I appreciate that it's this one." But at the same time, it seems like a dangerous situation. So this might make it easier. He, uh, although you set off those little firecrackers mm -hmm. for the surrounding area, I feel there's no doubt that Jack saw this like, murder, this mm -hmm. hit happen. Absolutely. Um, and he's like, if, he was screaming before, like he was yelling, but now he's for sure like in like abject horror at what's about to happen. You two are standing over them. Mm -hmm. One dead body, one screaming kid. Like a canister of like, what are you putting in like some sort of fuel? He yeah, he just dumps. Just douses the just kid like, in gasoline. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. Well, cool. actually, yeah, this is the 50s. Like, it's probably a pretty regular thing for just like, oh, I've got these various incredible, hell, that's common now, incredibly flammable solvents that I use to clean things. Yeah. Like, sure. just like Brasso or that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. And he just like kind of dumps a bunch of it and then he's just going to try to light this stuff on fire. So before he officially lights it, I'm I'm going to look at him and go, let me take a step back. I'm going to pocket the blade, right? And I'm going to start screaming, Jack, no, be careful! Jack, not like this! Uh -huh. And like, backing up, I'm like, Jack, Jack, no! Butch, help me! Mm. Help, Jack! I'm just yelling over the screaming of yeah. this teenage kid. Mm. I think I'll, I'll try to yell, what, picking up on Douglas's cue then, he's going to be like, like, are you okay, boy? I'll help you. Ho hold on there, son. Hold yeah. on there. So for sure, a lot of commotion going on. And yeah. then what's the plan? Then light him up? Try to light this on fire and have yeah. this explosion. Yeah. And old Gus is... Is old. Is old. You're fine. You're and, fine. Yeah. They're not... They're side characters. This murder goes off. Oh, no. I'm going to say, like, no, even no. if he's, he's like, too close to this thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. kind of okay with that. Okay. <coughs> uh, he's okay with going even more deaf than he already is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think old Gus has, like, a... Like he remembers back to the to the Great War and the artillery noises oh. and like those deafening sounds and you hear that and we see like a shot in his head of like like a no PTSD. man's land of explosions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, twelve year old. Mm -hmm. well, how okay, so uh, oh, hold sorry, on. Who? Well, first of all, take a point of clarity because you why you, you I killed him. <laughs> you, mur you murdered a uh, um, Butch, but were you the one who set off? The, you're the one who set off fireworks too, right? Yes. So yeah, take another. All right. Mm -hmm. Also, what, what does their here? blood taste like? Mm -hmm. Did you taste it? Because oh, I definitely get it. I have a human You're foot. You're dead now. Man, man. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> Salt and vinegar. My name is Dog Boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, so this... What was this... Uh, Actually, yeah, you probably have the best view of this, right? From the, oh, yeah. from the city from the hall, second, your office. From the, like, the third so you see these, these fireworks go off. All right, let's let's hear your description of these like beautiful dune, uh, dune, uh, noontime fireworks going off. Yeah, so maybe with blood or bodies in. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely. I think there's definitely like people are screaming now that this thing has exploded, and it's like a fucking fireball because somebody doused the damn thing in gasoline right before. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> oh. Is it like a big explosion like in the park and then fireworks are just shooting out yeah, of it? Yeah, and fireworks are yeah. shooting uh -huh. out of this like explosion. So it's super horribly loud and like the loudness keeps on going and then like this tent that they're in is just like a pit of fire now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and definitely I think a lot of people are screaming and freaking out. It's horrible. So it's great. But, you know. <laughs> Soft scene. We did great. Soft scene. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and like what's... Do you have staff members aside from Dorothy, or is it just her? There's really? like 3,000 people in this town. I can't yeah. imagine well, that. Well, there's 2,997. <sighs> oh, you know what? There was a specific. <laughs> Didn't? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? I think I was adding a death count. Yeah, so that's awesome. I think There's not that many, is what I'm saying. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <coughs> so, yeah, Dorothy's here, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, and I think maybe we'll take a commercial break as, you know, she kind of stands up and like looks out this window and sees this, you know, this fire raging. Jeez. Mm. And then the fireworks just like slowly are going off. Every yeah. couple, like it's every ten seconds, another one flies yeah. off and explodes. What, what a festive disaster! That's great. <laughs> awesome. All right, can you hit the space bar there? Cool. All right, so like I said, there's that disaster of a fire in the mm -hmm. middle of the park. Mm -hmm. Fireworks shooting up. I think. <coughs> In this movie, maybe we follow one of these firework 
things going up into the the bright afternoon sky. Mm-hmm. And uh, it just, while well, the other ones are exploding behind it, like this one just keeps going up into the, the distance or something, and then this horrible giant eye opens up in, in the sky. What does that look like? Is it like a cat eye, an octopus, a goat eye? What kind of eye is this? It's like a fish eye, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like it's gotta be like a fish eye. Almost like uh, if you've seen those things of like when a whale kind of like just rises to the top and you see just its eye. Mm-hmm. It's like that kind of thing, like off in the in the distance. Mm-hmm. Nice. What color, guys? Well, they're um, usually like a yellowish or greenish. Yeah. That's usually what it is, but. But I was thinking, what if it was like an orangey? Ooh, like a yeah. moon, like a. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like that, like the moon on a. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. A really kind of bloody reddish, orangey kind of. Mm-hmm. So it's okay. So the uh, the audience watching this TV show or reading this comic book sees this. Do any of us see it? The four of you for sure see mm-hmm. this, mm-hmm. and then maybe like blink once or twice. Yeah. You're, blink your own eyes, and um, now you see it's like it's not actually an eye, or or maybe it changed or something. Who knows? But now you just see this big, huge, like um, like orange red star oh that's, where there had not been one before yeah mm-hmm. it's just in the middle of the day mm-hmm. just like it's up there it's like the brightest star you can think of maybe like double double I think that um, it's twice as bright as the sun yeah I think DJ. that when, you got me there you got me <coughs> I think that when old Gus like yeah, like he was really like because he had to light this thing so when it went off he was like really really close to the point where he was almost like knocked back yeah. And his ears are ringing, and he has that like he has those like shots of uh, like those like memories of the war, and like hearing all that stuff, and um, like he kind of like looks around and he like looks up, and that's when he sees it. And again, in his ears, it's just ringing, mm-hmm. and he's not hearing any of the fireworks exploding or any of that stuff. And he just stares up at that and like um, like blinks a couple times, and then yeah, that's just that star is there. Um, so you're. As cult is kind of more supernaturally hardy than most people, but does that like hurt you? Do you think supernatural what? You're like supernaturally We're more tough. hardy than hardy. normal people. Hardy. I thought you said We're hurdy. tough boys. <laughs> like, as in, like, yeah, hurt. you're hurdy gurdies. <laughs> you're ready to be hurdy. You sound so interesting. <laughs> do you think that would injure you, or do you think you? It's almost I, like cosmetic I, pain. More like cosmic pain. Mm-hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Do I? Are you asking about like the sight of this eye? I, I meant explosion. being knocked back by the explosion. I'm fine with it. If he gets hurt, I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's up to you. If you want to take, just like mark down the number one. Sure. Being that injured you enough. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so maybe like your tailbone's bruised or something. <clears throat> I think he's just, I ass. think he's at least deaf in one ear now. Oh, wow. <coughs> sure. Yeah. I mean, he basically was He was already going that way. I mean, come on, yeah. guys. No, you're all going to have to speak up there, son. And, oh, and, and you, when you were out, we kind of described this kind of like a conflagration in front of you mm-hmm. so like your eyebrows are gone and stuff probably. oh sure the tent's like on fire did you get, did you get that on the recording mm-hmm. yeah uh, it was just like a like a literal funeral pyre sure. in the center of the so yeah I think park. after this a lot of things happen all at once um the fire chief Donovan um who was helping Patricia with her papers, which is completely different now. Goes over, I guess the fire truck or something was there. That's probably how they got That's there. That's fair. So they put that out relatively easy, but the police come out, like especially the sheriff and everyone. Mm-hmm. They're doing this. and um, Yeah, well, I guess you were the only ones who witnessed the two people in there, but like, mm-hmm. I mean, they're going to ask about. So I'll I, say sheriff is probably asking. I'm going to go ahead and cry. Because, the, uh, openly, like, I'm also upset personally, but I also know people are watching now mm-hmm. and what just happened. So I'm going to pull back and I'm going to dig deep and I'm going to think about Ken and that last time and, like, how I ma- had to make that choice. Mm-hmm. And now I just killed another dude who I probably also knew in high school, right? Yeah. Because I may not have been his friend because he was a nerd! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but... I definitely knew the guy, so yeah, I'm going to... gave him like, a wedgie once or twice. Yeah, I'm going to, like, dig deep and, like, cry openly, like... And, um... Doug, yeah, uh, I think that... Oh, yeah, that's dude, when uh, Sheriff Brown comes over and just, like, slaps you in the face. Just like, mm-hmm. get together! What just happened? What's going on? Um, and I'm going to babble, but, of course, I'm going to say this more, like, more openly right now. But I'm going to get out the words of... Ken, Ken, Ken... 
Not Ken, sorry, I apologize. Oh. <laughs> oh. Jack. Jack. Yeah, I just forgot the name. Okay, Thank yeah. you. Jack. <laughs> that would have been good, though. No, 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 yeah. <laughs> Roll words! Um, uh, Jack, Jack was expla- explaining that the fire works, and, and, and then he was talking about chemicals, and then he... he he tripped. He tripped. And, the, like, describing all the stuff because he was, like, walking backwards, being scientific, pointing shit out on the ground. Um, and when we were trying to help him up, because Butch came in to help me, you know, mm-hmm. Butch had put down a box too quickly, which we all knew was full of volatile things. Next thing you know, this started booming over here. And Douglas came in when he heard something crash in the box. And I was like, help me! And we all just start. And it just became confusion because things just started going boom, boom, boom. We had to run out. There's no way to help other than run. Like, we got to save ourselves. So yeah. he's, like, babbling. If he can muster the tears, I think he's crying. Just yeah. openly, like, letting it go. And uh, I think he's kind of just, like, shaking you. Like, mm-hmm, get mm-hmm. yourself together. Everyone's coming. Mm-hmm. Don't. When people come here, you better stop that. Yeah, and I'm going to sniffle and, like, just arm in my face, like, trying to wipe my tears away and stuff. One, one quick question, though. What's your sanity? Uh, my clarity is a two. Clarity, sorry. No, you're keep calling it sanity, because mask of sanity? Yeah, no, mm-hmm. you're fine. It is a two. And this is heavily <coughs> based on, like, the... This is heavily based on the Cthulhu stuff, and that uses, that game uses they sanity. Have sanity. They have sanity. Yeah. Points. Um, yeah. Mark that on here, so I don't... I stop doing that. I think... I, I, I try to do, think to Do myself. you do any of the mask of sanity stuff, is what I'm asking, mostly? Oh, um... I'm at level two. Hint your support, superiority. I could go higher though, right? Or say something that flags that you're mm-hmm. not all. Oh well. no, definitely perform a single action that demonstrates all is not well with you. I'm crying harder than I should be. I should be a cop. I should be responsible, mm-hmm. and I'm babbling. I'm yeah, losing it. That's fair. I think that that, that would be pretty even with what I'm mm-hmm. actually just losing it. Yeah, I gotta dig deep. I gotta reach back. I almost said Ken, yo. But <laughs> you no, did. His, his you name did. is Jack. His name is Jack. <laughs> Whole, right. whole show. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think some other faceless uh, or nameless uh, faceless would be real creepy, but uh, <laughs> nameless police officers come out and they're kind of doing this as the fire's kind of dying down. But I don't know what's going on up, up at the the top with uh, yeah, the Mayor I mean, uh, I'm upset. My fucking fire! What the hell's going on? I just I asked Dorothy to find some guys to put some fireworks up, and now there's an explosion. So I'm like. Not yelling at Dorothy, but like, oh my god, what's going on? All right, we gotta get downstairs. We gotta fix this. This is a, such a disaster. Oh my god! And so uh, Richard's heading downstairs with Dorothy to like go out to the park and make sure everything's okay, or like be a mayoral presence. Yes, to kind of in make the town's time make yourself so seen there. Yeah, sure. Like on the on the scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <coughs> the small town, so a bunch of people are. Now, like, yeah, everybody's like. Down. All of the Police, all the people in the diner and the barber shop. All the people the, are like yeah, knowing yeah. now yeah. and there's, looking at the fire. There's a shot of a guy who's like cutting somebody's hair and then he's just doing like the mouth agape like what mid snip. <laughs> <laughs> he cuts a guy's ear off. <laughs> no, oh, okay, God, no. oh god. Uh, you didn't say it in your gust voice, it doesn't count, right? <laughs> it'll grow back it'll grow back there, kid. You'll be alright. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he is work. So yeah, I think I mean there's definitely a lot of commotion going on here. What what's the plan after this okay uh, do we have yes. to wait 24 hours for the next one so the next plan is uh, no we don't actually it's the same day so the, the opening day. of the gate is well where, where, are hmm? where are you saying yeah, this where are you saying we haven't we haven't gotten together we have to yet. get together oh yeah we together. need to get together okay so could we I'm, get together at our temple to Put the, yes, some of that should. blood scrapings in the pool. Yeah, so we gotta put our scrapings in the pool. The to... chief is like, what, what temple? What do you mean? Oh, jeez, no. Yeah. I mean, scrapings. If I may, shoot him. If I may, <laughs> the, the, he did tell me that I need to pull myself together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna ask for like just some time. It was ex- like, can I have the rest of the afternoon? Yeah. I'm gonna like okay, ask permission good. from dad. Like, okay. Dad, okay. can I like have the afternoon off? I'm traumatized. Do you call him dad? No. Could you imagine? <laughs> I feel like it would have already been agreed upon that we're all meeting back at the temple after this is over. Oh, yeah, so we all know this is happening either way. So we all need to just like get our, so you need to get the day off. Mm-hmm. You're mad. Um, maybe you're like, I need to go handle this. And so you're thinking you're going to go downstairs. Um, and then I just 
I leave my papers everywhere, and I'm all of a sudden like, oh, I'm suddenly fine now, and I like trot <laughs> down the stairs. God damn it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> the craziest of us all. I rook my ankle. I don't want to be that person yeah. that, that my is like, fine, like all of a sudden, and they're like, oh, she seems fine. I'm fine now. I've got to go home. Oh, I've got to go check on Evelyn. And so I just like bolt, you know, like, and they're like, oh my God. So you don't check in with the library, or you just. I just, I think that I just go. I mean, in my head, I'm like, well, my excuse is I need to check on the family at home and make sure everybody's okay. That's my excuse. And so I just want to go. But real in real life, I'm, I know I'm going to the temple. Mm-hmm. So I mean, the whole town, I'm curious. This is more of a question for you. The whole town would have heard that because it's yeah. a lot of explosions. Yeah. So, and I mean, it's that's my excuse. big fireworks. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, how are you getting out of your situation, or or are you uh, the mayor? Mayor. mayor. Richard. Yeah. So uh, I'm pissed. Uh, I'm like, Jesus, this whole day's ruined. Dorothy, you need to figure this out. We need to be able to at least have something happen tonight. We need to calm these people down. I need to go get a drink. I can't. Mm-hmm. I can't do this right now. Day I need drinking. to go. <laughs> oh, and she she's like, you cannot be seen having a drink right now. This is. I'll I, go. You know, I, I have a place where nobody's going to see me. Don't worry about it, Dorothy. Just take care of this and make sure everything's ready for tonight. Well, you, I hope you're going home. And, you know, I don't <clears> want to <throat> say it, but I did tell you. I should not have this fireworks <sighs> situation here. We, we did a slapdash, and look what happened. What? The, the, the kid made a damn mistake? He's a smart kid. He's not... You were supposed to make sure everything was going to go fine. Look what happened, Dorothy. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe you're trying to pin this on me. This is such a disaster. I, I gotta go. Oh, yeah. She she gives you a, a look as you leave, then. Are we allowed to, like, add any places to the map? Um, yeah, if you think... If you're going somewhere. Well, I just feel like if he's gonna go to the bar, he could just be like, I'm going to the bar, which is gonna be, like, the, the little biker bar here. way over here, which is really close to the, the temple... <coughs> you know? Oh, sure. Is it like, okay. what, what, like the Iron Horse or something? Yeah, it's like, like the biker bar that Iron was horse. mentioned. Yeah, the, what a good name. The Iron Fish. So, um. <laughs> may I ask, just because she is putting it on the map, is it on the other side of the water? Because right now it's in the water. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> a floating bar. It's a bar on a pier. It's a bar yeah. Come on, what's the issue? Thank you. It's a bar no, on a pier. It's, it's on a Thank boat. You. It's like oh, over yes. here. I forgot. Boat I forgot. The same it's bar. like on the other side of the street. This street. Yeah, I want it to be like near the cemetery. Oh, God, please, near the church. Like it's it's <laughs> it's literally like the bad biker bar yeah. that's like, you know, but but that would give him a reason to go towards the temple. In this direction. Okay. Yeah. I see what you're saying. So, well, it maybe sense. it needs to be closer to... To the train tracks. So yes, like over here near the water. Near the train tracks. Near the train tracks. The, but across the from the okay, so across you're from where the He has fish. to take this magical water bridge. Mm-hmm. What is this? The the bridge that connects this one. To yeah. The Bifrost. The Bifrost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bifrost bridge this way. Sure. He is that a bridge or here. no this is a street. That's one okay. of the streets because it was like angled. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. We just haven't figured out like what bridge, this yeah. place is and mm-hmm. what this place is mm-hmm. because these is the train tracks. And yeah. also and City Hall connects to none of these streets. I just want everybody just to main worry. street. Well, those are the main... There might be smaller streets. Yeah, they're probably like yeah. one. They're just like the, the main... Sure. The yeah, important we'll streets, I should say. Now that we call one a main street. Yeah. Sorry, I did it no, on I, purpose. I mean, though. that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> so, <coughs> that's where the bar is over there? Yeah. It's across the water. Did we say what the biker bar was? I thought we named one earlier. No, I think no, we were just being silly. We were just, we were yeah, just silly. talking about it. But I think that I think the the swordfish. Oh, perfect! I love you. Swordfish awesome. bar. It. <laughs> it's a picture. Oh, it's upside down. Upside down. <laughs> this is the rest of the. That's the right. Yeah. That's so, fine. Um, is that where you're going, or are you going home? Well, he's. Sick. I mean, you told uh, Dorothy you're going home, but you can go. I told her I was going to go for a drink. I didn't tell Dorothy shit. Oh, she, she told. Yeah, yeah she advised you to go. She home. said, right. "Go home," you're and right. I said, "I'm going to go get a drink." Yeah, she said it would be bad for you to be seen drinking, but mm-hmm. and I said, "I'm going to go get a drink." Yeah, but the, yeah. he wouldn't be seen at the Swordfish because that's like the dirty bar nobody really goes to. So. Well, and he also said he was going to a place that she didn't need to. Yeah, visit. she didn't need to worry about it. Yeah. Okay. Well, Don't worry about Dorothy. I'm not gonna be seen. So is, it, is that kind of the uh, mm-hmm. like the uh, the plan thing? Was, oh, after rituals we meet up at the Swordfish or what? Does oh, everyone no, know we're to definitely be here? meeting at the camp. Yeah. 
Kelly's canned fish. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're, you're yeah. not actually going to the bar. No. Okay. So it, that's confused. just a gotcha. distraction. Okay. We just made a bar up because I was yeah. going to okay, go just for get fun. a drink. Yeah, we just okay. made a bar for gotcha. fun. Okay. Just for fun. I'm sorry, yeah. We're also, having a good time over here, DJ. We're just making places. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Perfect. Um, so everyone goes in their various vehicles, right? There's four. There's you're driving cars. separately or? Um, <coughs> I feel like Gus was in the area. They probably interviewed him a little bit. Um, yeah. And mm-hmm. since the two of us were there, we definitely like mm-hmm. took a moment to be like, so sad. We don't know what happened. It was chaos. Whenever they release Gus... I'm going to take him home to his wife, and then I'm going to go home. Mm. That's what I'm going to tell the chief. That's a really good point. Okay. They probably are going to need to question you. I didn't even think of that. Oh, yeah. I, I, I we fully cooperate. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I'm, so, yeah. during the questioning, um, who does the questioning? Um, let's just make it easy. We'll do uh, Sheriff Brown, I guess. Excellent, mm-hmm. because I wanted to talk to Sheriff Brown. Perfect. So, he kind of... I don't think they have, like, the law and order... Like interrogation kind yeah. of thing. It's just like his office. Jerry Orbach shows up. He makes a no. quip. Yeah, there, I don't like, think they have that since it's such a small town. So I think yeah. it's just like I think. Uh, like a, I, think I think I think they're just questioning him in the park. Yeah, I think that maybe like somebody like has like a blanket over him and he's like 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 kind of nearby, like maybe sitting on like the steps of City Hall or something like that. And oh he's yeah. Just kind of like like um, the sheriff comes over to talk to him. And uh, at first he legitimately doesn't hear him. Oh, and then he yeah. like, and this is I think when we realize like as the audience like, oh, he is now, it deaf. wasn't a temporary deafening, at least in one of these years, he is totally deaf. Mm-hmm. And he'll say, um, um, oh, and maybe he has like a bandage on his ear. Like mm-hmm. maybe one of the other firefighters like put a bandage on his mm-hmm. ear or something like that. It was bleeding. Um, it was, yeah, it was ble- like the eardrum burst or whatever it was. <gasps> yeah. um, and so he's like, he's like, oh, yeah. So, yeah. He's like, oh, sorry there, Sheriff. I, I didn't hear you. It's like, I'm gonna have to get used I'm gonna have to get used to that. Yeah, well and he kinda of sits down next to you. I think you said you were around the same age, like you're a little older. Yeah. You're both like World War One vets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but but the sheriff was like a fourteen year old at yeah, World War One. Uh-huh. Gus is like a million years old just about. Yeah. <laughs> More or less. So <coughs> um I don't think you would sit down, so he kinda of just stands standing over. Standing over me, yeah. Yeah, and just uh trying to look as Nice as possible. as possible. And I think Gus, I think old Gus's game plan is to act like, like he remembers back to the war and like people who, um, like after they saw something that like really changed their whole, like really blew up their whole world of shell like, yeah, yeah, almost like shell shock kind of characters of like, oh my God, I just don't know what's going Like he kind of like, he's going to try to put that on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he's like a... <coughs> All right, well, so what what'd you see there? What happened? Oh, the boy! When I when I came, when I looked over, I saw, I seen the seen the boy and Butch struggling to 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 get up. They they must have fell into the uh, into those fireworks there, and some of them were already starting to go off. I grabbed at the kid, tried to pull him out, blew up right in my face. He kind of looks at the like the smoking crater, and he's like, "Well, you can say that again." Do you know what the chief was there? Right? Did he uh? Shouldn't he have been looking about? What was the what was the deal? Says, I mean, Butch should have had Butch should have had it. Should have been all right. But and this is this is going to keep going with his plan. And he just says like, oh, too many bad things have been happening around this town, Sheriff Brown. Too many bad things. And he'll kind of like look off into like do that like, um, thousand yard stare. Yeah, and there's there's for a second there's like a a feeling with within him of like, like I'm miming something that is a serious thing. But then he realizes, like, he remembers that eye opening up and how important this is and, like, the pang of guilt about it. He brushes it off and just says, like, something's got to be done here. We got to... Take a drink. Yeah. <laughs> yes. There's too, too many problems. And I, I think he'll, like, he'll like kind of reach out, like, a hand, like, onto his shoulder or onto his arm and kind of be like, like, why'd this even have to happen here? Why'd this even have to go on? Something big is coming, Sheriff. Mm-hmm. Something terrible. Somebody's got to step up to fix it. He's he just um like nods. He's like, well, you know, we're trying, Gus. This is a uh, never seen anything like this in a town like Milton. This is this can go. It's gonna be in the Boston papers tomorrow. This is not gonna look good. Don't like this kind of stuff. That's what happens when you get a bunch of eggheads trying to run things their own way? Well, you're not wrong about that. And I think he'll like kind of look up at the like. 
Because City Hall's up on the top floor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And again, his goal is to try to push the sheriff into maybe getting into or getting more involved in this race. Uh And so he'll kind of look up, like, look up at City Hall, like, look upstairs and be like, yeah, and just say, somebody who actually knows what they're doing ought to be running things. Not some... It's another term for egghead. What's another term for, like, nerd? That would be an old time. Bean counter? Not some bean counter. <laughs> or some, uh... Money. That's thinking yeah. about money. That's, that not, some, not some bean counter. Or someone who's... All they got is their name and a curse. <laughs> Two for one deal. Nice. Yeah. So so again, go. I'm trying to push him to run yeah. in and split the Republican ticket. So... Vote. Yeah, I think... So you're trying to... <coughs> kind of uh, manipulate him, right? Mm-hmm. So there are rules for that too. Awesome. Um, I love that. So if you and again, like this is kind of a you don't have to tiptoe around this. If you just literally tell him to do something, mm-hmm. to kind of manipulate him. If you make it like less subtle, then um, he just becomes an obligation for you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And then yeah I'm so just like, how do you how do you make how do you hit it home? Um, I'll yeah I'll just say like um, like what's his first name again? Franklin. Franklin. Yes. Franklin. Frank Brown. Yeah. Franklin. And I think like old Gus. Even though he's Franklin is younger than him, he mm-hmm. always calls him Sheriff Brown. Like sure. he always is like very deferential to him. Mm-hmm. Even though it's like he just says like, you know, we marched we marched through hell, Frank. We went through we went through Belgium and such and such other place. At least I did. I'm sure you went through some some of those same places. Your watch. This wouldn't be going on. Kelly's Kelly's no good. What is your Shaw? Shaw. Shaw. Shaw just had two men blow themselves up here. You got to be the one running this here. Yeah, and then he, he maybe looks looks off and he's like, well, you know, I don't know why he was trying to set this up. Just had a meeting yesterday, too. It's, you know, these kind of politics just get us into trouble without thinking about the safety. Don't like it. That boy wasn't, in the end, he's just going to try to, like, nail it home further. Like, like, that boy wasn't much older than older than all the ones we saw. But that's not over there in Belgium. <laughs> a town in Belgium. Also the name of the movie. Actually. Yeah, yeah. That's not over. That, that's not over there in Belgium. That's not over there on the in the West Front. That's uh, that's here in Milton. Yeah. So that, that's that's good for me. I think. Yeah. He kind of the scene kind of is that the end of the conversation. Yeah, I think he's like he's like I gotta go home and make sure uh, make sure Prue's okay. I'm, 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 is that is that is that all right? Aww. Yeah. He just like, like asking he's, old man asking. He's, too lost in thought. He's kind of like, no. Nah, he's like, yeah, just uh, um, stay around though. You know, just uh, keep in touch if we need to talk to you about this kind of stuff. But then uh, I think he just says like, where else am I gonna go? Yeah. So, a couple things. Mark down that he's a new obligation. So you, <clears throat> you have to talk to him about his uh, political future once a day. Mm-hmm. But also, did you do the mask of sanity? Oh, stuff? absolutely. What what you do? I told him like that. There's a curse. There's these other things that are crazy that's going on. So I definitely mm-hmm. said something that would flag people <coughs> to three I at least. Said some shit. That's for damn sure. Yeah, I think that works. Cool. <coughs> so, um, so now is everyone meeting up at the temple? I think so. Right. I'm taking you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so uh, Deputy Douglas scoops up old Gus. I'll take him home, Sheriff. Don't worry. I'll make sure he gets home safe. That kind of like mm-hmm. machine. So just just to move things along a little bit, I, I'm going to move to um, from midday to evening when everyone shows up. So it's like maybe like just sunset. No? Okay. That's, my, that's what I was trying to get to. Is that we all have to get to where we're going to be because our next one is precisely at sunset. Thank you so much for listening to This American Dice's exciting third episode of Soft Milton, Massachusetts. Our cast for this episode included Marisa as Patricia Miller, Eduardo as Officer Douglas Thompson, Brandon as Mayor Richard Shaw, Austin as Old Gus the Janitor, and David as our Game Master. Soth is a game by Stephen Hickey. Additional music for this episode includes Quaalude by Cowpay. See you next week on another exciting episode of This American Dice.